Welcome to Digital Leaders Mental Health Week Assembly. The theme for this year's Mental Health Week is loneliness. Have a look at this Where's Wally picture, can you spot Wally? Can you spot him? Is it possible to feel lonely in such a crowd? If Wally was a real, if Wally was a real person, could he experience loneliness? It's possible to feel as if we have no friends, or that no one understands us at a deep level, even when we're surrounded by others. It is entirely possible to feel lo lonely in a, in a crowd. Loneliness can, can still affect people who are surrounded by others and will connect with social. This is because loneliness is, is about the quality rather than the quantity of relationships that we have. Someone might have a lot of friends but still find that his or her needs for, for a deep connection with other people is not met. Some people might feel that they are not really understood or known at a deep level by another human. It is said that modern life is making us lonelier. In, 2007, in 2016, according to a reported by the Church Urban Fund, 64% of church leaders said that loneliness and isolation was a significant problem in the area up from 58% in 2011. Another survey by the Mental Health Foundation found that in the UK, one in ten of us felt feels lonely often and 48% of people think that we are getting lonelier in general. Loneliness can be considered a form of poverty. Mother Teresa said the most terrible poverty is loneliness and the feeling of being uninvolved. Our growing reliance on social technology rather than face-to-face -face in interactions is also thought to be making us feel more isolated. A study by the University of Pittsburgh found that people who logged onto social media accounts for more than two hours per day were twice as likely to experience social isolation as those who, as those who spent less than half an hour. It means that we feel less connected to others at a deep level and our relationships are becoming more superficial. We can reduce our feelings of loneliness by reaching out to a friend or family member, speaking to someone on the phone rather than messaging, spending time participating in hobbies and sports, volunteering in a school project or a project in our local community, spending time with pets, cutting down some spend time, uh, cutting down time spent on spent online. Let's remember that face around the world promote the idea that connection to others is important. In every major world re religion, the concept of treating others with kindness is important. Religion reminds us that connection with other people is to be cherished. Religion also reminds us that connection with God is important. The Hebrew text that is sacred with both Christians and Jews say, Your God the Lord himself will be with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. Islam, te Islam teaches that Allah values us and cares for us, that we are not forgotten. In the Quran, it says by the morning brightness and by the night when it, when it is stillest, the Lord has not forsaken you. Everyone in most monuments, when feel alone, these texts remind us that God is there with us and loves us. As we think about the, about the theme for today's assembly, let's bow our heads and enter a time of reflection. Let's take a moment to be quiet and still. Let's think about those people who are experiencing the poverty of loneliness, who feel isolated, misunderstood or without meaningful connections. We pause to remember people in our society who are lonely and ask God to bring them comfort and companionship. We pause to think about ourselves, especially those moments and situations when we feel alone. We pause to ask God to give us 
the courage to reach out and find connections that are positive and bring us joy. Dear God, we pray for the courage to be people of connection, to work to eradicate the, the poverty of loneliness in our school community, in our families and in our wider society. Give us ears to listen to others, eyes that spot when people are in need and need and hearts that long to connect and to care. We thank we thank you that you promised to love us and never abandon us. Amen. Thank, thank you for listening to the Digital Leaders Assembly.